Hello everyone and welcome to this Playwright tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn about the Playwright Locator. So let's begin. Locators play a really important role when we are locating the elements and in Playwright they play a really important role because in terms of auto waiting and retrying. So here are some common locators. The first one is page.getByRole. So using the role you will be accessing or locating the element. Then we have get by text so you can locate the element by the text of that particular element then we have get by label you can locate the element using the label of that particular element then we have get by the placeholder so if there is an element having the placeholder so you can locate that element by the placeholder then we have get by alternate text so if there is any alternate text available usually when we are talking about the images so you can locate the images using its alternative text then we have get by title so you can locate the element by the title attribute then we have a very good locator called get by test id so you can locate an element based on its data dash test id attribute so this attribute needs to be defined and configured first then you will be able to locate the element using this particular locator so these are few of them and in, the, in this series we will be covering more of the locators like css and the xpath as well in our upcoming tutorials now let's go to the visual studio code and see how these work actually in practical so let's go to the visual studio code here and let me create a one new file here new file and i'm naming it as orange hrm locators dot spec dot js so this is already created so let me give it another name here and what we'll do is that we will use the previously generated code here so what i'll do is that i'll copy this code from here and now go to this file here and uh, here let me remove this line of code from here and what it will do is that it will simply go to orange channel website and once it will land on orange channel website we will identify the element using these locators and will perform some actions on this one so let me save this one and let me open the browser here and let's uh, go to orange channel website here and once it will land on this one so this is a login page of orange channel and now we will try to locate the elements present here so uh, first we will do it using a label and here we talk about this password field right click on this one go here and inspect this one here so you see that this particular field has different attributes like placeholder name type but there is no label here right so in order to do that so if i inspect here this particular thing so this is a label here so i can locate this element using get by the label locator okay and here what i'll do is that simply i will go with simply let me go back here and we use await then page dot get so here you see that we have different locators available so get by label and the label here is basically let me go back here so the label is basically a password so let me copy this one from here let me go here so in this way you can locate the element using the by get label and here what i'll do is that i will simply print this one because we cannot perform any particular actions on this one so what i'll do is that simply console dot log and inside this i will copy this one from here and paste it here okay and let me save this one and let me change the name of this one and i'm naming it as locators demo 
and I will be running this test using this test. So here simply npx play write test minus g name of the test here and I will be executing in the edit mode. So press enter and see what happens. So let me save this first and let me run it again. So it's opening the website here and here you see that when the locator is printed here right and now what we will do is that let's fill the username field and the password field using a placeholder because we saw that they have the placeholder so if i go here and inspect this one so you see that this has a placeholder equals to username so simply what i'll do is that here await then page dot get by placeholder and what is the placeholder here we need to tell the placeholder so let me go back here and the placeholder is username with the capital u go back here provide this username now what i need to do i need to perform some action and here in this case i need to provide the username so in playwright if you need to type something you need to use a fill here and whatever you need to fill you need to provide in the double quotes here so the password is admin here and that's it so let me go back here and confirm yeah that's the username is the password oh sorry admin and here let me save this one and what i'll do is that i will put some weight after this one so that you can see that is actually working page dot wait for timeout and i'm giving here 10 seconds and let me save this one and now let's execute this test and see what happens so it will open the browser go to this website then it will fill the username field with the admin so you see that with the admin here it got filled right and similarly what i'll do is that i will using the same approach here and i will provide the password here so let me go here and using the placeholder i will go here and scroll it a bit here so this is a password field and here the placeholder is with a capital P and simply this one and here I'll provide the password and password is admin123. Let me save this one and now let's execute this one and see what happens. So it should go to this website. It should fill the username with the admin and password with the admin123. So yes, that's done successfully here. And now let's talk about, uh, you know, get by the role. So role can be, you know, the buttons, checkboxes, headings, links, lists, tables, and so many things. These are the basically rules. So you can identify the element using the role here. And if we talk about uh, this particular login button here, so the role of this particular element is a button, right? So we'll go here. So it's a button, right? So what I'll do is that let's look at this element using a button here and now await page dot get by role. Okay. And here first you need to provide what is the role. So here you see that it's the alert, it's a banner, it's an article, it's a button. So there are so many things. And these are the role of the different elements and here i am providing the role as button and then comma then two curly braces and inside this we need to provide uh, the attribute right so here the name of this particular uh you know element is basically a login right 
So what I'll do is that let me go back here and provide name, call, and then in quotes we have login, login, and then what we need to do we simply need to click on this one here and save this one so now uh, let's run this again and see what happens so i should provide the username password then click on the login button in order to log in into the system yes it's successfully logged in into the system now we saw that we have covered get by the label we have covered get by the placeholder we have covered get by the rule now let me uh, show you get by the alternate text okay so if i go back here and if i provide the username as admin and password as admin123 so it will log into the system and here you see that this is the image right so if i go here and this is the image and this image has an alternate text called profile picture right and as soon as i click on this one this particular menu will be opened here right so let me go back here and simply what i'll do is that await page dot get by alternate text okay and we need to provide the alternate text here then what we need to do we need to perform a click on this one right so let me go here and the alternate text is this one profile underscore or space picture so that's the alternate text and let me save this one and let's run this again and see what happens so it should log in successfully then it should click on the user profile area so logged in and you see that it clicked on this picture and this menu is appeared here okay and if i go back here and if i click on this one and now if i inspect this logout button so this logout is basically here it's a link it's a hair it's a link and you see that this has a text called logout so now i will locate this element using by get by the text method here okay so simply what i'll do is then await page dot get by text and here the text would be basically a logout so let me go here and copy this text from here and go back here and now simply i will click on this one so that i can log out from the application okay and let me save this one and now let me run this again and see what happens here it will go to the application here it should log in then click on this button and then log out right so that's how you can use this this core locators uh, using uh, you know these are core locators because uh, in playwright they play really important role in terms of auto waiting and retries so get by placeholder get by role get by alternate text get by text so get by label so we have learned these in this tutorial and in our upcoming tutorials we will explore more about you know locating the elements we will cover more locators we will cover css xpath and so on in our upcoming tutorials thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial